Welcome to Circle CI Foundations. What is an orb? I'm Katie, the Technical Community Manager, and we're going to walk through the basics of what an orb is today. Orbs are shareable packages of configuration elements that help simplify your configuration file. Basically, you write config once and then use it again across similar projects. We want to write simple, reusable code, so why not simple, reusable configuration? Reusable snippets of code allow us to save time, be more efficient, and simplify the many third-party integrations we're bound to need. To start using orbs, you can search the orb registry on the CircleCI Developer Hub to find the one that will make your life easier. Whether it's AWS, Slack, Python, Helm, Terraform, whatever you need to make your configuration file simpler. There are three categories for orbs on the registry. Certified, Partner, and Community. Certified orbs are written and tested by the Circle CI team. Partner orbs are written by our technology partners, and community orbs are, you guessed it, written by the community. Every orb in the registry has a description and documentation, and lots of the orbs include usage examples too, so you know exactly how to get started. What if there's no orb for your stack? You can make it. Check out the docs on writing an orb and maybe we'll cover it in a later video. Let's look at an example of using an orb to make life a little easier. So this is a typical configuration for testing a Node.js application. We set up the Docker image and all the routine steps like installing packages. It's not too bad. It's not a very complicated config file, but let's look at what difference an orb can make here. This is a typical configuration for testing a Node.js application using the Node.js orb. We add the orb on line three and four, which allows us to then access jobs from that orb on line nine. So let's dig a little bit in on how we do this. To use an orb, copy the config code from the orbs registry into your config file. After the orb has been imported into the configuration file, the elements provided by the orb are available as orb name slash element. In this case, we can see uh, that the Slack elements are available by using Slack slash notify. In our previous example, they were available with node slash test. The available elements and usage examples will all be in the orb registry. Orbs can do a lot more than what we've covered here, but hopefully this gets you started asking questions and simplifying your configuration file when it makes sense. You can always ask questions on our community forum, read the docs, and even write your own orb. Let us know what topics you want to see covered, and thanks for learning about orbs with me today.